Jerry Seinfeld is 70 years old and he writes every single day. It's like going into the gym every day. It's hard. You know how you walk in every day and you go, oh, geez, I got to do this again. Yeah, it sounds like a tortured life. And you say it is. It's not, it's a, but it is. Yeah. It is. But you know what? Your blessing in life is when you find the torture you're comfortable with. I can't and that's argue marriage, with that. I, it's kids, I, it's work, it's work, it's exercise, yes. it's not eating the food you want to eat. Right. Find the torture you're comfortable with wow. and you'll do well. Lil Wayne, hip hop rapper Lil Wayne, wrote a song every single morning for a decade. Now, the overwhelming majority of those songs were never released. No one ever heard them. But it was the mere exercise of, if I want to be, as he says, the greatest rapper alive, then every single day I'm going to write a song. Now, some days they're going to come out to be mega hits. Some days they might be somewhat duds, but I'm going to do that every single day. You know, the, the story that I close with on stage most of the times I give a keynote is about the first time I met Stephen Curry and he wouldn't leave the gym until he swished five free throws in a row. Swished. Yeah, like that was his ticket to leave the gym. For any of you that have never shot a basketball before, just know that is an incredibly high standard. A swish is a perfect shot. It doesn't touch the rim, it doesn't touch the backboard, it gets its name from the sound it makes by going nothing but net. And this young man was not gonna leave the gym until he swished five in a row. Which means he could have swished four in a row, hit just a little bit of the rim on the fifth one, he'd still be mathematically perfect, he'd still be five for five, but that wasn't good enough for him, he'd start over. And if memory serves, it never took him longer than 15 minutes to swish five in a row. I'm not saying everyone has to adopt that standard, but I think every single one of us needs to have a clear cut standard mm -hmm. that is in alignment with who it is that we're trying to become. And we that need to make sure that that's what's key, that the standards are in alignment. That's it. You know, do the, the beliefs that you have, are they in alignment with your behaviors? Because lots of times those things splinter. We all say what we want and we talk about that, but we don't live a life that is congruent with that. If you were to make a list of everything you do on a daily basis, what percentage of those things are helping you and what percentage of those things are hindering you? Sometime over the weekend, I want you to take out a piece of paper and I want you to draw a vertical line down the middle. On the left side, I want you to come up with an exhaustive list of the things that, let's just say, fill your bucket. Physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, if that's appropriate to you. Then on the other side of the paper, on the right side, I want you to write down how you've been spending the bookends of your day, your morning and your evening routine. What do you typically do for the first 60 minutes after you wake up? And what do you typically do in the 60 minutes before you go to bed? Then to complete this self audit, I want you to compare the two sets of notes. And I want you to ask yourself the most fundamental question you can ask yourself when it comes to raising your personal performance. And that is, are you doing the things you know you need to do to fill your bucket to show up as the best version of yourself? Sometimes when I'm not getting the results I want, it's because what I'm saying and what I'm doing aren't in alignment. Yeah. They're starting to splinter. And, and I don't want to be that person. To me, that's the definition of integrity is I do what it is that I tell others to do. I, you know, what I share on stage and on page and what I preach and what I teach, I'm living those things in alignment. I wanna make sure that the person you're talking to right now while the mics are hot is the exact same person you'll talk to when we hit stop, is the same person, if someone bumps into me later today at the airport, they're gonna get the same person. Now it might not be as on as I am right now because I don't give uh, podcast interviews when I'm just walking around the, the airport, but everything else I want to make sure is synonymous. To me, one of my biggest fears would be that I say or do something that is not in alignment with what I, I preach and I believe.